Abu Bakr Abdullah Muhammad XII, known to the Castilians as Bo Abdul, was the 22nd and last Nasrid ruler of Granada in Iberia. Sultan, son of Abu el Hasan Ali, Sultan of the Emirate of Granada, Muhammad succeeded him in 1482. Muhammad XII soon after sought to gain prestige by invading Castile. He was taken prisoner at Lucena in 1483. Meanwhile, his father returned to power and then in 1485, his uncle Muhammad XIII, also known as Abdullah Ezzagal, he only obtained his freedom and support to recover his throne in 1487 by consenting to hold Granada as a tributary kingdom under the Catholic monarchs and not to intervene in the siege of Malaga, in which Malaga was taken by the Christians. 1487 saw the fall of Baza and Malaga. 1489 saw the fall of Almunekar, Salabrina and Almiria. By the beginning of 1491, Granada was the only Muslim-governed city in Spain. Surrender of Granada. In 1491, Muhammad XII was summoned by Ferdinand and Isabella to surrender the city of Granada, which was besieged by the Castilians. Eventually, on 2 January 1492, Granada was surrendered. In most sumptuous attire the royal procession moved from Santa Fe to a place a little more than a mile from Granada, where Ferdinand took up his position by the banks of the Genial. A private letter written by an eyewitness to the Bishop of Leon only six days after the event recorded the scene. The Moorish Sultan with about 80 or 100 on horseback very well dressed went forth to kiss the hand of their highnesses. According to the final capitulation agreement both Isabel and Ferdinand will decline the offer and the key to Granada will pass into Spanish hands, without Mohammed XII having to kiss the hands of Los Reyes. As the Spanish royal couple became known, the indomitable mother of Mohammed XII insisted on sparing her son this final humiliation. Christopher Columbus seems to have been present, he refers to the surrender. After your highnesses ended the War of the Moors who reigned in Europe and finished the War of the Great City of Granada, where this present year 1492 on 2 January I saw the royal banners of your highnesses planted by force of arms on the towers of the Alhambra. Exile. Legend has it that as he went to exile, he reached a rocky prominence which gave a last view of the city. Muhammad XII reigned in his horse and, viewing for the last time the Alhambra and the green valley that spread below. The place where this allegedly took place is today known as the Suspiro del Moro, the Moor's Sigh. He grieved his loss and continued his journey to exile with his mother. Muhammad XII was given an estate in La Yarda and Arax, Las Alpajaris, a mountainous area between the Sierra Nevada and the Mediterranean Sea. But he soon crossed the Mediterranean to Fez, Morocco. Letter to the Marinid Sultan of Morocco shortly after his surrender, Muhammad Boabdil sent a long letter to the Marinid rulers of Morocco asking for refuge. The letter is long, extremely well written and begins with a long poem praising the Marinids, followed by a prose where he laments his defeat and asks forgiveness for past wrongdoings of his forefathers against the Marinids. The entire text was reported by al Makari. The Lord of Castile has proposed for us a respectable residence and has given us assurances of safety to which he pledged by his own handwriting, enough to convince the souls. But we, as descendants of Banu al Amarmuth, didn't settle for this and our faith in God does not permit us to reside under the protection of disbelief. We also received from the East many letters full of goodwill, inviting us to come to their lands and offering the best of advantages. But we cannot choose other than our home and the home of our forefathers. We can only accept the protection of our relatives, not because of opportunism but to confirm the brotherhood relationship between us and to fulfill the testament of our forefathers. That tells us not to seek any help other than that of the Marinids and not to let anything obstruct us from going to you. So we traversed the vast lands and sailed the tumultuous sea and we hoped that we would not be returned and that our eyes will be satisfied and our hurt and grievous souls will be healed from this great pain. Muhammad Abu Abdullah Original Text in Arabic 
17th century, historian al makari wrote that, Muhammad XII crossed the Mediterranean to Melilla then went to Fez where he built a palace. He stayed there until his death in 1533-1534. He was buried near the Musala located outside of Bab Sharia, in Fez. Muhammad XII was survived by two sons, Yusuf and Ahmed. al makari met with his descendants in 1618 in Fez. They lived in a state of poverty and relied on the zakat. Spanish chronicler Luis del Marmol Carvajal wrote, Muhammad XII died near the Wed el Asurid at Ford Toljuacuba during the war between the Marinids and the Sardians. This source is also taken by Louis de Chenier, a diplomat of the King of France Louis XVI, in his historical research on the Moors and history of the Empire of Morocco published in Paris in 1787. Muhammad XII in popular culture. He was the subject of the three-act opera, Bo Abdul, Der Letzte Mor on Koenig, Op. 49, written in 1892 by the Jewish-German-Polish composer Moritz Moskowski. Spanish composer Gaspar Casada wrote the Lamento de Bo Abdul for cello and piano, in memory of the Moor. Spanish composer Anton Garcia Abril wrote the Elegia a la Pedida de la Alhambra from his song cycle Canciones del Jardin Secreto for voice and piano. It is set to text that is attributed to Bo Abdul, in which he laments the loss of the Alhambra. Abu Abdullah appears as the main character in De Rong Jalukaj, published in 1915 by Dutch author Louis Cooperus. This novel covers the last decade of Abdullah's reign as ruler of the Emirate of Granada. Andalusian singer-songwriter and poet Carlos Cano dedicated a song to Muhammad XII in his album Chronicas Granadinas, entitled Caída del Rey Chico. Salman Rushdie's book, The Moor's Last Sigh, also features consistent references to Muhammad XII. He appears as a character in Leo Africanus by Armin May Alouf. Louis Aragon's book La Food El Surrenders a dramatized and poetic version of the story of Granada's capture, which includes Muhammad XII as one of the two main characters present in the novel. Pakistan Television Corporation produced a drama in 1980, based on the novel Shaheen by Nasim Hijazi. In this drama Abu Abdullah Muhammad was played by Shaquille Ahmed. Bo Abdul appeared as main character in Spanish eight-episode serial Requiem por Granada. In this serial, he was played by Manuel Bandera. Young Bo Abdul was played by Lucas Martin. Bo Abdul appeared as main character in the season two of the Spanish TV series Isabel. In this show, he was played by Alex Martinez.